In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you one of the best passing concepts in all of Madden 22 for basically beating any zone coverage in this game. It's really effective for when your opponent might be using zone drops. It's also really effective whenever your opponent is really not using yellow zones. They're double Maybelline and they're trying to use for the whole middle of the field with their user player. So we're gonna take a look at a concept today that is gonna do really good against that in particular Mabel defense. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the coaching adjustments for this. We're going to set up our Mabel defense by putting our flats on 25 or 30. We're going to put our curl flats on five or 10. Um, for this video, we're gonna do 25 and five. And then our hook curls, we're gonna put these on five as well. Now, if you're new to the channel, um, I would encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. And it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day. Now in this video, we're taking a look at the Detroit Lions playbook. We're gonna be focusing in on their trips tight information. And we're gonna be taking a look at the concept X spot. Now X spot is one of the best passing concepts uh, from the trip side information. It's got a lot of great routes and there's a lot that you can do from a uh, creative perspective to be able to create high lows for your offense. So let's get on the field and take a look at X spot. Okay guys, so what we wanna do with this is we want to simply um, leverage the power of this little hitch right here to Scotty Miller and then we're going to use some other routes. You don't have to have Hot Route Master for this off offense. I would recommend having at least Tight End Apprentice. If you don't have Tight End Apprentice, that's fine. I'm gonna give you an alternate setup in case you are a regs player and you don't have that ability. So what we're gonna do from a setup perspective is we are going to take the number two receiver in the trips, Mike Evans, and we're gonna put him on a flat route. Um, and then we're going to take the number um, we're going to take the number three receiver, Chris Godwin, and we're going to put him on a hitch. Then with our running back, we're going to go ahead and we can leave him on the route that he's on if we want to leave him on that route. If you have backfield master, you could consider uh, putting him on a flat route or a table route. But really the best route, in my opinion, is the wheel route or the out route, which are both easily accessible regardless of uh, the abilities that you have. Um, on your offense. So you see here, this is kind of the general basics of this concept. Now, uh, where this concept is gonna really come in handy to have tight end apprentice is we're gonna put our tight end on a post. If you don't have tight end apprentice, you can go ahead and put him on a smart routed in route, um, just like this right here. So it's very simple. If you don't have tight end apprentice, just use a smart routed in. Sometimes, honestly, that'll work a little better. But if you do have tight end apprentice, the post to me is probably the best concept um, for the overall spacing of the play. And then, like I said, this is something that we like to use whenever they're running double Mabel. And I'll show you why um, people run double Mabel real quickly here. So I'm gonna give you a concept that um, a lot of people like to use against the double Mabel coverage. Um, and, and basically what this will show you is, is why um, a lot of people think this is the best coverage, best zone coverage of the game. So um, what you're gonna see here is if, let's say I'm running a concept like uh, PA slot corner for example, okay, if I run a flood to the left side Well, I have double Mabel so in theory I've got an underneath flat defender I've got a deep vertical defender and I've got a deep out defender um, In this defense so what this allows is it allows my user to sit over the middle of the field for any routes that are coming over the middle So as you can see right here the only player that I would have to worry about defending is the tight end in this example of a concept so that's where this X spot play comes in because if they start using a defense like this, they're gonna simply run out of numbers um, for their middle of the field. So you see here, this is kind of the basic overarching defense. Well, when we run this X spot play, um, we're just gonna snap the ball here and just kind of watch what's gonna happen. But what you'll see is this hitch will be wide open and there's a lot of things that you can hit on this play. So I'm gonna to go ahead and jump into instant replay. While I'm doing that, I do wanna let you know about our Patreon membership. If you're not a Patreon member yet, I'd really encourage you to consider doing that. It's only $10 a month and the cool part about it is it's gonna get you unlimited access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive eBooks. It's also gonna get you access to uh, all of the updates that we do in the membership that maybe not necessarily eBook related. We do update the eBooks regularly, but we also update different type of defenses based off of how the meta shifts from week to week. So we have different defenses. We have a massive uh, defensive guide devoted to match coverage. We've got a huge defensive guide devoted to um, helping stop escape artists and some of that stuff. We've got a major uh, offensive eBook 
ebook and the trips tied in that really walks you through i think some of the best route concepts that you can possibly create in this game so there's a lot in there we've got over 20 offensive and defensive guides and your membership gets you access to all of those guides all the updates to those guides which we update them every week and then you're also going to get access to any ebook we release in the future and any update that we release we, like i said i've got an update going in today that is a really really good trips tight end defense um, that i think you're going to really like so if you want to check out the patreon there's a link in the description below it's the best way to get better in my opinion because you actually get a progressional game plan or a progressional guide or ebook that walks you through not only what you're doing but why you're doing what you're doing so i'd really encourage you to check that out uh, i'm going to put a link to that in the description if you want to check that out okay guys so if you take a look at this here um, from a route perspective our first read the one that I like the most to be honest is really looking to the right side of the field first and the reason why is because if I can hit this running back route quick to the flat I kind of need to throw that right about here now there in this example they have flat coverage so then I would just simply check right into the hitch now if you notice this guy uh, right here is kind of the guy in the middle of the field and just for sake of uh, you know just kind of explanation here he's gonna have to make a decision am I gonna go guard this guy here or am I gonna guard this guy here that's basically the decision he's gonna have to make nine times out of ten they're gonna go with the post nine times out of ten they're gonna go with the post and as you can see there now if I come back over here you're gonna notice that this concept is open right now what you see is a three wreck it does come over here but again it's a bang bang play so if I wanted to if I see that there's Maybelline I could also come back over here and hit this route because there's no vertical hook the only routes that can take these two zones or these two routes away are vertical hook zones and the problem with that is then that's gonna leave the defense vulnerable to other routes so I'm gonna show you a cover two um, defense real quick here and what you're gonna see within a cover two concept is very very good underneath coverage in the middle the problem is the outside of the field is going to become much much more open which you'll see right here so this is going to keep it so that your opponent can't put 30 yard flat zones on the field because what's going to happen is you see here that quick to the flat route with the bernard is open for again an easy gain of 10 to 15 yards and again my first read is can i pop that flat route out there now another reason why i really like this play is against the cover zero blitz and I'll show you that right now so um, a lot of people like to blitz um, whether it be from cover zero or cover three those are the two primary um, formations that people want to blitz out of but what you're gonna see with this is this is a really really good concept for the blitz and if I get blitzed I basically have an automatic read right I'm looking to the right if I can hit the running back I'm gonna hit him if I can't hit the running back guess who's wide open the hitch is wide open and I'm gonna take that for about 10 to 15 maybe break a tackle get up field now let's say that their user says you know what you're not gonna be able to throw I will not let you throw the running back uh, the running back route okay that's fine what we're gonna be able to do off of this is this is where the user game kind of comes in because now you're gonna see that that tight end post comes over we can easily possession catch that for 10 to 15 yards as well so this this concept really does a great job against the Mabel concept as well as the blitzing defenses any blitzing defenses that you'll face now let's say that they send five or they're gonna send pressure um, out of you know man coverage against man coverage the really the two best reads are again the tight end and the post or the tight end and the running back so you'll see right at the rip the running back gets wide open against man and man because the guy that's guarding the running back um, is on the complete other side of the field what's gonna happen here is this guy Kevin King and this guy Rizul Douglas they're gonna have to basically um, cover the running back and in this this concept here it's borderline impossible you'll see right here I get him out here look who covers him safety all the way on the other side of the field so it's very difficult for them to make that make that make that play so what you're gonna get is once again you're going to get the user jetting out to go guard the running back which makes this a real simple read because it's the same exact read regardless of coverage right so now you get that guy flying out there and you can just check down right in over here and you've got a great play that can basically you know kind of stretch them horizontally 
um, with, at the same time giving you a concept that can beat any coverage in the game because if they just drop back coverage even if they have yellow zones on the field if they're not vertical hooks which they basically can't drop those zones because of the fact that they need the purple zones also which I'll show that real quick so let's say that they drop like we're in Mike Woods 3 let's say they drop these two guys in, in yellows to be honest this would be the best way they could defend this but there's some other things that we can do um, there's some other things that, that are going to be available to us so again we just motion this guy across and what you'll see here is at the snap that vertical hook gets sucked inside so even against a defense that is designed to stop this concept i can still check it down to that hitch or i can have that concept to the tight end and if they're not careful and they fall asleep with their user i can also hit that tight end post over the middle of the field so anyways guys that's the concept i think it's one of my favorite concepts especially against a blitzing defense or just kind of a concept that i can go to whenever they're running a lot of mabel coverage this is a great route combination that's going to allow you to get space and be able to attack different aspects of the defense i want to thank you for watching the video today if you enjoyed the video breakdown i'm going to be streaming live here in just a few minutes over at twitch.tv slash cody ballard yt i'm going to put a link to that in the description as well if you want to go check that out i'll be streaming at eight o'clock a.m uh or uh, i'm sorry 10 o'clock a.m eastern time uh which again should be in about 45 minutes or so and then also um if you want to check that if you want to you know, be able to stay updated about everything i have a discord link that will update you whenever i'm streaming or posting a video or if you have any questions you can hit me up in discord um, so if you want to check that out that'll be down the, below and then real quick just wanted to reiterate if you guys want to join the patreon membership we've got uh hundreds of members in the membership and a lot of people have been getting better because of what we've been doing over there if you want to check that out there's a link in the description below which you can check that out again and the cool part about it is it gets you everything not just one ebook for you know 40 bucks it's 20 ebooks for ten dollars a month so i would really encourage you to consider that thanks for watching the video if you want to get to patreon there's a link in the description below